So PSG decide to change the manager as Pochettino has, of course, been given his marching orders. But is it a masterstroke or a move of disaster? We're going to take a look at it. All of that next. Give another prediction video today. We're taking a look at the 2022 2023 uh, Ligue 1 campaign over in La France, and we'll get to that in just one second. If you know where you've been, smash your subscribe button, get back and say all oh, things Ligue 1 related, Papa Rose, football related. We got it all here, boys. I know one Ruski. In this video, we're going to take a little look at where I think La France, chon, 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 the French teams will end up at the end of the campaign. Will PSG run away with another title, or will they be caught uh, by uh, maybe Marseille, Monaco, Lille, Lyon, of course, some of the big boys who need a response from a bit of a shit show last time around. We'll take a look at it. All of it. I and mean, of course, people shout out to my VIPs. They're the patrons, guys. You know who you are. Anyway, let's get into the mix. So, of course, to take a look at what we're talking about. We're going to jump right down the middle of the table here. Work our way down uh, from the team. So, right about 11th, all the way down to 20th. And then work our way to the tip of the top to see who will go the bloody distance. So... Without further ado, let's jump into it then, shall we? Kick it all off with 11th place, and that will be do -do 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 Reims. That's right, Reims, of course, coming at you uh, this campaign. Uh, of course, not too shabby for them last time around. Where were they last time around? They were as high as 12th, of course, last time around, so not too much better, but it is a step in the right direction, of course. Lee uh, Reims will be uh, 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 hoping to rely on. Um, matey boy, what's his name? What's his bloody name? My mind's gone blank. Uh, Reims, Oscar Garcia, the, ga the, the gaffer these days over for Reims, of course, captained by Yunus al Of course, it is, a, it is a step in the right direction. Of course, they'll, they'll be looking to make some progress on that and maybe even compete for an outside spot of the European spots. Indeed, what's going on with my bloody, f my, my, my bloody, whatchamacallits? Uh, format here. I don't know what's going on here, but anyway, I've cleaned it up a little bit. Anyway, Reims coming at you, of course, in my eyes, 11th. Of course, they are actually ranked around about, where are I? 1,001 to go the distance and lift the trophy at the end. That's the same sort of odds as the likes of Montpellier and Toulouse. But of course, Montpellier, in my eyes, might be a little bit better than the likes of Toulouse. But anyway, for me, uh, 11th spot for them, of course, can I do better than uh, last season? I hope so. Into 12th spot, I have Strasbourg, of course, pr uh, Strasbourg. Great season last season, finishing in 6th. Uh, of course, great recognition for uh, the manager there. Well done to Julian Stefan, of course. A guy who I was actually tipping, if you did look back through through some of my uh, some of my uh, managerial punts, uh, that was, of course, at least a season or 18 months ago. I actually had uh, earmarked Julian Stefan as a contender uh, to be uh, a Rovers manager, of course. He was out of work at the time, but, of course, done a fantastic job at Strasbourg and finishing up in six. Second season syndrome for them. Not really second season syndrome, but I think uh, they might be in Europe here. I don't even know. I don't even know how far down the old pecking order they go, but if they are in Europe, they're going to be sidetracked a little bit, and I do feel they're going to take a bit of a, a sway in that department. 450 to 182, shall we, for their own, about ninth favourite in the bookies eyes 12 for me so but it is a downgrade of around about six spots uh so a bit of a train record disaster maybe julian stefan uh his stock might uh, take a plummet in that regard moving up to 13th spot i have ozea that's right ozea coming at you from league two last time around of course coming at you from third spot they were uh made it through the shaky back door but they are here back once again of course jean-marc foulano el manager beriam two days el capitano and of course ozea will hope to stick around for at least one season here uh, on the offering. Of course, not too shabby for them. 13th spot when you consider they're coming up, up from the second tier. Uh, in third spot, behind the likes of Aljaco and Toulouse. So for me, uh, it's not too shabby. 13th, they'll take that and they'll take that all, all day long. And that will be uh, considered a season of success for Ozer. Moving on to 14th spot, I have Brest. Cheeky! Of course, Brest finishing in the late 11th last time around. Uh, we'll hope to uh, better than that. But of course, I think they're going to go a little bit backwards these days. Of course, the likes of Leo Leon didn't have the greatest seasons last time around. I think they'll be much better for it. Uh, also, the likes of Montpellier uh, and some of the other boys will be competing and pushing the likes of Brest, uh, Strasbourg and Reims further down the pecking order than they were last season. Of course, Brest managed by these days Michel de Zacharin with Steve Mooney, of course, former Huddersfield man uh, as El Capitano, but 14 for them is alright. 
Actually, odds are 1,001, uh, 2, 4, 6, 7th favourites to go down, which is about right in my eyes. Moving into 15th spot, I have Angers. That's right, Angers. Fantastic stuff for them. Uh, last season, 14th, last time around 15th this time. A bit of a degrade, just the one spot. Not too crazy there, but around about right. Of course, Angers, Joao Batakel is their manager. Ishmael Traore is, of course, El Capitano. Uh, 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 Angers, around about 1,001. Same odds as Auxerre, same odds as Brest, same odds as Montpellier and Ajaco as well, but you haven't seen either of those last two pop up just yet for for me a downgrade of one spot ain't nothing to be sniffed at they're around about this each and every season so for me 15th spot is about right so moving on to 16th spot we have to lose they have nothing to lose by being here anyway they are of course coming up as champions of Ligue 2 and of course we'll look to uh, at least stick around for at least a season or two in the top flight they've got odds that are around about 1,001 so around about the likes of Angers Brest uh, and Auxerre so in and amongst uh, around about these guys anyway and of course coming at you with with Matey Boy manager Toulouse, uh, Philip Montaigne uh, with Brecht de Gere as El Capitano. Uh, again, a fantastic campaign last season to go up as champions up in bit here. With, uh, they've got an English guy, I think, I uh, can't remember his name, leading striker, uh, which we were linked with as well. We may end up linking with him again if we decide to go with the notes from Tony Mowbray's crew, but we'll have to wait and see. But Toulouse and me have nothing to lose. They'll be in 16th spot and that ain't too shabby. Move on to 17th, I have Troyes. Troyes, of course, a fantastic season for them. First season back last season. Season, uh, finishing in 15th spot. Bruno Ialias is our manager there. They still got to decide on a captain in this campaign, but of course they'll be looking to uh, make it uh, another season in the top flight. For me, they do just about that. 2001, they're one of three three teams that tip to go down, and I have them uh, just surviving by the skin of the teeth. And they'll take that all day long, won't they, Troy's, Troy's boys? Uh, moving to 18th spot, the first team that's probably going to go down, or at least in the relegation playoffs. Uh, actually, there's four teams that go down, so to lose a fucked. Uh, pardon my friend. But uh, Ajaco are also buggered uh, in the end. Of course, hotly tipped or uh, hotly promoted last around six second. Of course, in Ligue 2. Uh, I can't believe I gave Troyes a big, a big up there. But they're going to go down anyway. Uh, but anyway, uh, Ajaco, of course, managed by Oliver Pantaloni, with Cedric Avignel, El Capitano. They are tipped to, uh, to struggle, Ajaco. Uh, uh, actually, they're not too bad. Actually, they're quite far up. They're on mid table, according to the book. So I don't know what I'm smoking, but I'm smoking that they're going to go down. 1001 at Jacko. Eight. They ain't, they ain't stick around. They're going to be part of the furniture no longer. They're going to go straight back down into League 2. Into 19th spot, we do have Lorient, of course. They did finish in 17th spot last round. I do see them have a two spot degrade. And, of course, uh, into the relegation zone they go. And, of course, they got 2001 to be champions. Of course, it ain't going to happen. Not on, not on my watch. Uh, of course, uh, who do we have? Lorient as manager there. We have Regis Libri with Fabian Lemioni. Of course, El Capitano these days. Actually, uh, Libri took over from Christopher Peltier, uh, who, of course, was sacked at the end of the season after a bit of a dismal uh, affair, finishing in 16th. But, of course, it ain't going to get much better for them this time around. 19th, they're going down, and they're going down hard. And then finally, it is Clement Foot, of course. Fantastic season for them. Stuck around by the skin of the teeth into 17th spot last round. This time around, they, of course, will unfortunately go down uh, with the likes of Laurent, Ajaco and Troyes. That's right. Clement Footmaster, uh, managed by Pascal Gastien with Florent Ogier, of course, as captain. Uh, 2001 to go as champions, of course. That ain't going to happen. They're going to go down. And, of course, they could be going down for a couple of seasons as well. So far, so good. That's the low end of the table. What about the top end? Well, here uh, we go into temp spot. We have Lens. That's right, Lens. Of course, last round. Finishing in seventh. Fantastic campaign for them. Just outside European spots. They might even be in European spots. Frank Hassi is your manager here. Yannick Kahuhus, uh, Kahusak is your capitano, of course, for Lens. Uh, of course, fantastic. Last time, a seventh spot. Are they going to get better than that? To be honest with you, I think they're punching above their weight. To be honest with you, it wasn't too long ago they were in league do so for me in temp spot it's about right for them and they ain't uh, they shouldn't complain about that they're around about uh, odds are around about 150 to one six seven eighth favorites of course going to the bookies to become champions not on my days temp for me uh but it ain't too shabby into ninth spot i have montpellier of course montpellier worth 1001 uh they actually finished 13th last time around do see them get a little bit better four spots better off climbing the table they go of course Mont montpellier managed by oliver daliallo of course with tell jay savinia of course el capitano these days long 
long shots, of course, 1001. In and amongst the likes of Brest, Auger, Reims, Toulouse, that sort of boys. But for me, much, much stronger, much uh, better for them. And again, they had a good, good part of the seasons, but also bad parts of the season, which, of course, ended up finishing down in 13th. But night for me, top 10, they'll be happy with that. It's an eight spot of Nice, which is very, very nice, usually, but it's not very, very nice, considering you're finishing fifth last time around. Of course, change of manager as well for Nice, which is very, very nice. Christopher Gauthier has gone to PSG. Lucien Favre has come in, of course, formerly of Dortmund, formerly of uh, Borussia Mönchengladbach. Is that right? I'm going to have to check. Uh, definitely of Dortmund. Uh, but, of course, uh, Swiss manager of nationality. Yeah, formerly of... And he's actually been former manager of Nice, which is very, very nice. So he knows where knows where his office is. He'll come in here, of course, with odds of around about 41. Six favourites for them, according to the bookies' odds. For me, I have them down as eighth which is, of course, is a couple of spots worse off than fifth last time around. But I do anticipate Lyon and Lille to be much stronger this campaign. Into some spot, we have Nantes. Of course, Nantes finishing in ninth last time around for me. Uh, but a bit of a stronger campaign for them. 250 to 1. Uh, better odds than Ajeco and Angers, but not as good as Strasbourg and Lenz and co. Uh, of course, the manager these days over in uh, Nantes, of course, was the fantastic Anton Kumbare. Did a fantastic job last season uh, with limited budget, limited resources. But, of course, they're hoping to compete once again for the top six. Top eight, even uh, next round. Last round, they were at ninth. This time, they are seventh. Uh, that is nonce for me. Into sixth spot, we have Lille. That's right. Lille last round finishing in tenth. Shocker Rooney season. Not great for them. And of course, change of manager for them. Uh, Jovic has been gone uh, since June. Paolo Fonseca took over at the back end of the campaign and will start with a clean bit of health uh, in his own area. But of course, uh, uh, player wise, we'll have to wait and see about that. Uh, of course, the odds for Lille, they're 80 to 1. About seventh, maybe. So, in about, around about right uh, for what I've got. But of course, last season had a shitter finishing in 10th. Wow, wow, we well, dismal campaign for Lille, but not this time around. Six for me. It's a fifth spot. We have Rennes. That's right, Rennes, of course, just outside the Champions League spots. Of course, fourth last time around, fifth this time around. They will be busy in Europe. They will be preoccupied. They will, of course, have to stretch that squad very, very thin. Of course, as the seasons go, they're losing a, a, a player assets by assets. And not, you know, and, and, and I do anticipate it be another one of those campaigns where they can stand out. Bruno Gensano, of course, uh, manager Hamas. Mario Traore is, of course, uh, the Capitano here for Rennes. Again, that'll be a fantastic season for them. Fourth last time, fifth this time, because we do anticipate the likes of Lyon uh, to be right back in the mix. Uh, so speaking of Lyon, are they back? They are back. It's a fourth spot for me. That is Lyon. That's right, of course, managed by Peter Bozich, formerly of AZ Outmark. Of course, Leo Dubois is El Capitano. Uh, Leon finished in uh, in uh, in eighth last time, which is also a bit of a shit show uh, when you consider the likes of Leon down in tenth uh, and Leon in eighth. Uh, of course, uh, uh, Leon are forty to one third favourites to go the distance. But not for me. I think there are three better teams in France at the moment. And we'll talk about that in a second, of course. Uh, Lyon will be back, of course, in the mix, of course, for European football. Whatever the whatever the bracket is. is, it Champions League? Is it Europa League? We'll have to wait and see. It's a third spot. I do have Marseille. That's right, Marseille did change their manager as well. Georges Sampali is gone. Igor Tudor coming in. Formerly of Torino, I believe. Maybe even Frankfurt. I don't know. I think it's just uh, definitely Torino. Uh, he's come in. Can he, of course, uh, raise the grade? That is, of course, from Georges Sampali, who resigned. He wasn't sacked. He res resigned. Finishing second last time around. Uh, of course, he cannot compete with the Messi. He cannot compete uh, with uh, the uh, the revolution that's going on at the, the Mbappe effect. Still there. Uh, and maybe that pissed him off. But regardless to say, Marseille with Tudor, Stephen pa uh, Maranda uh, as, our, as, as our capitano, I believe anyway. Uh, third place for me. But of course, into second. Surprise, surprise. We have Monaco. Wow, wow, wee, wow, indeed. Monaco under Philip uh, Clement. Is that right? Is he the bloody manager? Is he taking over the reins? How bizarre. What happened to the former manager, uh, uh, Kovac or something? What happened to him? Um, I can't even see it in my managerial uh, merry-go-round. What happened? Uh, but anyway, Philip Clement is the manager. Wissam Ben Yedda is, of course, El Capitano. Uh, they made some really good moves, of course, in the summer, which, of course, have, have got me the belief that they will compete uh, at least for top two, top three this time around. The odds for Monaco are around about 20 to 1. Fourth favourites in the bookies. Second for me, but, of course, nothing's going to take away for PSG. Running away with leaders for me. Uh, 10 to 1 on. Put your money right there. Of course, it ain't. it's safe as houses. It's safer than the, the Fort Knox. 
indeed. So if PSG will be champions with Messi, with Mbappe, with Neymar, with, of course, the, 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 the criminals that they have there. And when I say criminals, I mean about the, the, the incredible footballers. They are, they're, they're, they're robbers. They'll rob you from your three points. They'll take it all away and, of course, take another title to PSG, of course. That is my state of play for La France. Let me know your thoughts and opinions about that. Do you agree or disagree with my picks? Uh, but with Marco in second, do you agree with uh, uh, nice being down as low as eighth and what about my relegation spots a jacko lorient troys and clermont food let me know down below of course and of course make sure you smash your subscribe smash the thumbs up smash the little bell we'll of course be looking at weekly uh, predictions for uh leon and at the moment me old mucker brian rico whoop whoop woo big shout out to brian rico he's going to uh, 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 we hope we hope we hope it'll be a tandem me and brian rico will be banging out these uh leon predictions of course it's going to be Brian's show. If he can't do it, if he shits the bed, no disrespect, uh, or he has a nightmare, I've got to be there to take take, take over the reins. But ultimately, get to know Brian Rico, young guy, extraordinaire. Uh, and of course, he's going to be here singing singing from the hymn sheet. That is Lee uh. Anyway, that's it, guys. Until then, we'll see you soon. Smash your subscribe, smash your thumbs up, smash the little bell. And of course, we'll see you around for the Prediction League over in Lyon.